Hello and welcome to The Measure of Whiskey where we discuss all things Scotch Whiskey. Today I am going to tell you what the best single malt Scotch Whiskey is for a newbie. Alright, so first of all, I want to distinguish what I mean by a newbie. For me, I'm considering a newbie to be someone who has never drank Scotch whiskey before, or perhaps have tried it once or twice, but they don't really remember it. So anybody that doesn't have any prior experience with Scotch drinking, that's going to be your newbie. There are lots of distilleries I could have chosen to use as best scotch for a newbie uh, and I know certain people out there will disagree with my choice but that's okay everyone's entitled to the wrong opinion all right now the distillery that I have chosen is Auchentoshan so why Auchentoshan I hear you ask well there's a number of different reasons why but first of all if you're not used to drinking straight spirits your palate's not going to be accustomed to and you're probably going to prefer something a little bit on the lighter side to get you started. It's really unlikely that you're going to enjoy anything too aggressive or too harsh. And Auchentoshan is the only distillery that triple distills every single part of their dram. But why is that important? Well, triple distillation removes far more chemical compounds, more sulfurs, more of those undesirable characteristics, and it makes the new make spirit much lighter and much cleaner. Now, does that reduce the element of complexity in the dram? Yes, but it's gonna make it much more palatable for someone who doesn't typically drink Scotch whiskey. And that leads me into my next reason for choosing the Auchentoshan. It's unpeated. Now, that's not to say that all newbies are not going to like a peated whiskey. No, not true at all. But the vast majority of them are not. You know, giving a newbie an Ardbeg Corrie Vrecken as their introduction to Scotch drinking is probably going to turn them away pretty quickly. And most Scotch drinkers develop a taste for the more peated whiskies over time after they've drank Scotch for a number of years. So out of the Auchentoshan range, I have decided to go for the 12 year old and the reason for that is pretty straightforward. Every drop of that bottle here has been matured for a minimum of 12 years in an ex bourbon and ex sherry cask. That allows the dram to really develop some characteristics, a little bit more complexity. Anything younger than that is just a little bit too plain. Sure, it would work well for a newbie but it's not really offering much up. This, on the other hand, really does deliver when it comes to nosing, tasting, and really getting a good appreciation for the whiskey. I mean, the colour of it is just fantastic. It's this wonderful golden honey looking colour. On the nose, you get that creme brulee, but you also get the typical lowland whiskey citrus elements to it as well. Um, on the palate, yeah, lots of sweetness coming through, a little bit of nuttiness. It's a shallow finish, it doesn't linger for too long, but you have that kind of citrusy floral effect that you get from most lowland whiskies. And did you know that lowland whiskies are typically called breakfast whiskies? Because they're so light, fruity and floral. Also, the 12 year old is bottled at 40% ABV. That's the lowest ABV the Scotch Whiskey Association will allow you to bottle any Scotch. So, you know, the lowest level of ethanol compounds coming out at you from this. And, you know, if I was giving this to a newbie, I would also add a little bit of water just to cut that alcohol content a little bit more and make it even more palatable than what it already is. There is one last reason why I opted for the Auchentoshan 12. And I'm not overly convinced by this, but I am turning a corner, there's no doubt about it. If you head over to the Auchentoshan website, they have a whole section based around whiskey cocktails. Yeah, uh, some of them look magnificent, and I'll be honest with you, I have tried a few whiskey cocktails recently, and I was blown away at how great they were. So if we're thinking newbie here, and we're trying to introduce them to Scotch whiskey, but they point blank will not drink it neat, or even with a bit of water, introduce it via means of a cocktail. You still get the characteristics 
of the scotch coming through in the cocktail. Sure, it's overpowered by lots of other elements in the cocktail, but it's a great way to introduce scotch whiskey to a newbie. All right, so there we have it. Auchentoshan 12, my pick for best scotch whiskey for a newbie. It's a fantastic dram. Even if you're not new to scotch whiskey, this is well worth a try. It's light, it's fruity, there's citrus notes in it, there's some complex notes in it. It's great, it's a lovely all-round dram. Definitely worth checking out. Now, where's that iron brew? This is